through the piracy story. Yeah. yeah. We've got to go into the um, the piracy. Not not, yeah. not not like you blew away selling DVDs out of the back of a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, actually being out there. The on real the, deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Off the coast of Somalia. Yeah, yeah. So I've been doing maritime for for quite some time and as Marines, you naturally fell into it because we were perfectly kind of served to, to do it. And piracy were massive in 2011, 2012, and ships were getting hijacked every day by pirates off coast of Somalia and then taken to Somalia for ransom. Uh, so I got on a boat in Malta uh, and I went, we went, I went through the Suez Canal on, on, the, on the boat and picked another three lads up in Suez and we went down the Red Sea. So just so it's you and three, so there's four of you. Four of us. The security for the whole yeah, boat. yeah, yeah. There were four of us, and, uh, and you're in charge. And our TL, yeah, yeah. team leader, yeah. And uh, the, the boat was like doing eight knots, like less than eight miles an hour, and it was it had a five meter free board, so it were like step from here onto that table or just above, which were like terrible, terrible dynamics for a, for a for an approach or an attack, and. I just had this feeling that we were going to get bumped, like attacked. And I was just like so, so scared and worried about it. I just hated the thought that we were going to go past Somalia on this boat. Massive thing, like 300 metres long tanker that will weighed down with we, we iron ore. And I had my dinner one night and one of the lads radioed and just said like, gas, gas, you need to get up to the bridge now. Uh, there's boats coming in. So I like ran up 15 flights of stairs, belly full of food. And when I got there, I was like completely like knackered. I looked through binoculars and you could see these speedboats coming in, like cutting us off from port side. And I just knew straight away what, what, what it were about. And I was like, like hyperventilating and like, oh God. you know, like that fight or flight, you know, like if you've ever been out in a club and somebody st starts off, you've, you don't want to fight. It was like that, I wanted to run away. And I'd... More started coming in from port and starboard side and I just... I just thought we had to surrender. I just thought the only way we we're going to... reserve any kind of percentage of life that we've got here is to surrender, but it was a really irrational kind of way of thinking because I knew that it was... a, p a position where we, we, we couldn't... We couldn't negotiate an, an, an unnegotiable negotiable situation. And I was, I, it was the only point I think in my life where I thought I'm gonna die and I just didn't wanna die. And having that realization that I was gonna die for a number of minutes were just like absolutely horrific. And as they came in, there were a young lad that were laid across the boat like he was uh, on a deck chair on holiday. Like it was just a, another, another thing. And we fired warning shots into water when they got within 300 meters, because that were our kind of rules of escalation and engagement. And this guy didn't even flinch. I was looking through binoculars, this young lad, he didn't even move. And then they, we, just, we just started engaging, well, they started engaging, we started engaging. And over like 35 minutes, we fought off like 50, 60 pirates, four of us. And it would, it would, I mean, they were trying to get on at all different angles and stuff and uh, trying to get on it were just it was really weird. I mean, halfway through it, although I couldn't see it, I felt like winning the, winning the arm wrestle. You know, like at rugby, if you're in a really like, I suppose if you're in a grand final, not that no, but it's tight, four, four, four points in it. But you feel like you're starting to mm, like wear momentum. into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like that. Mm. I thought we were winning. And as soon as I thought that we were winning the firefight and I know we were going to live, it was just the m most amazing feeling I've ever had in my life. It was just like, I just thought, I'm not going to die. I'm, I'm, we're going to be all right. Uh, and I actually halfway through, like, met lads a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're talking, when you say firefight, we're talking like gunfires going yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. How long, how and you thought, yeah. well, does anyone fancy? So there's, thought, <laughs> there's someone out on deck. I thought the team his... needed refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain, isn't he? you've got to do it. You've yeah, do yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So, so there's someone out on deck. Is he, is he still sunburning this lad? Or is he? 
Is he up and is he about? Is he getting food in? And no, no. I mean, <laughs> we 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 started putting rounds into the boat. Uh, it was just just carnage. Do you know what I mean? They were like people laid out in boat and boats were bobbing about and they just ended up falling away. Do you know what I mean? We the attack was so significant for them that the Somali militia put 10 grand bounties on his heads for his capture. Uh, and we were on the front of the, whatever, Somali Gazette that we were wanted in Somalia. Well, were they trying to uh, allege it was something that it wasn't? Uh, yeah, they said that we'd, we'd killed a load of uh, fishermen. But like, literally, they, they, they had AK-47s that rolling up in air and RPGs. And uh, yeah, just unbelievable. The, the funny thing is like that night, the, the, all, all the crew were Burmese and the captain were like this small Burmese guy. You know, like, right tonight we have a party. We have a party tonight for you guys. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the guys got he all He didn't the, know the piss story then, I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> mate, mate. <laughs> like he said, we put massive buffy on and we have party. We, you weren't allowed to drink. He went, we get the drinks out and got all the drinks out and I had to like, write loads of reports next day, legal reports for this incident. So I had not been a leader or anything. I was like, I'm gonna get me head down, I was fucked. But the lads went and went to this party and uh, the next day like really sheepish and I'm like, what's, what's going on, what's going on? They went, oh yeah, we called Naked Bar. And they, like they had Naked Bar and they had Captain and crew all walking right ship naked, pissed off. Fucking hell. We need to do another um, episode, I think. Just all the uh, yeah. all the parties. Yeah, it would just it would just <laughs> absolutely superb, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell.